Hey everyone, what's up? How's it going? This is Finite MTG, and today I'm bringing you more Chaos Draft, because there's no such thing as enough. Uh, though we are still streaming this one, I thought I'd do a little YouTube intro for fun. Um, I think I will take Blast of Genius from this pack. A little bit worried about the Cavern of Souls uh, deal, just in terms of renting that. I don't remember how expensive the card is at the moment. Last Gasp is the other uh, card that I would really consider taking from this pack. And I was thinking about this a little bit um, in terms of like Blast of Genius versus Hypothesis all. Um, Cause like, you know, it's one thing to draw multiple cards and then turn one of those cards into a removal spell. It's a little bit more awkward when one of those cards has to be, um, has to be a spell that you're discarding to turn into a removal spell, but you're effectively still doing that for zero mana. Um, so that's still pretty nice, I think. And I think this card's powerful and worth splashing and all that. The main thing I dislike about it is just kind of the modern templating, like forcing you to to choose a target before um, you actually draw the cards. Here, I think it's going to be a pretty straightforward Kami's Flare, but Life of Toshiro Umzawa is also very good. Um, <clears throat> Moon Circuit Hacker is nice as well. So... Presumably, uh, the person I'm passing to gets to start with uh, Last Gasp into Life of Toshiro Umzawa, which is a good start for sure. But I think for me, it's just going to be a Kami's Flare. Um, three damage to a thing, two mana at instant speed is a really nice place to be. Uh, this guy against X1s is super brutal, uh, but if they don't have X1s, it's merely like pretty good. So I think it's fine to start with Kami's Flare. So also both uh, splashable red cards, but we don't necessarily end up red or whatever. Interestingly uh, now, there's a Goblin Electromancer. Um, some people would probably think, well, that's perfect, you know, because we have Blast of Genius. Um, but I one, I dislike blue-red. Uh, one of the problems with blue-red is um, the creatures are just generally understated. The ironic thing is Electromancer is a nicely statted thing in blue-red. So this is a card we could take. Um, we could also take a Spurious Skywatch. So would I rather take a six mana flyer that's like pretty decent uh, and leaves me a little more open or take this two drop? I think I'd rather take the six mana flyer. If this were five mana, it would be easy. Um, but there's a real downside to passing the Electromancer here. It's not very likely to wheel. Um, I don't mind Dark Revenant. It's just one of those cards where, because it doesn't say May, you can really lock yourself out, which kind of sucks. Um, but I will take the, the Skywatch here over the Electromancer. Someone else will be happy with the Electromancer, I, I would assume. There's not much else going on in this pack, so. And then now we have a nice start here where we can play Blue Red, uh, we can play blue and splash red, or we can play red and splash blue. Not uh, the case if we take the Electromancer. Oh, interesting. So Thoughtseize is in the pack, as well as a Kithkin Healer. Skeletal Changeling, pretty decent card as well. I like Thoughtseize, I think it's good. I think Kithkin Healer is better. Um, it's Once again, this kind of thing is going to be a question of like how fast or slow do you expect the format to be? The most important thing to note here is like, imagine we had taken the Electromancer and really committed to blue-red, and then we got this pack where the there are technically blue and red cards, but they are pretty bad. So yeah, I think this is a pretty straightforward Kithkin healer. Um, you definitely could take Thoughtseize, but I want a card that's going to be good against what my opponents like continue to play and draw like throughout the game, not in that order. Um, whereas like Thoughtseize is mainly just good super early. I don't know. Though it is a bit late for a pack of, uh, pack of lore when this pack doesn't seem very good. wonder if there is like a Muldrifter or something crazy opened. And then one of these packs, you're always lucky if you can find something playable in a pack of Prophecy. Um, I think Mindbearer is actually pretty decent, so we could just take that. There's also Magetta's Boon. We already have a white card, so this makes a bit of sense. This thing, I think, is not ideal. Um, it's just too much mana to pay for this. 
This card's okay, but nothing special. Um, yeah, I think I'm okay to take a Mind Bearer. I don't know if I've ever played this card before, but <laughs> given that it's a pack of Prophecy, I mean, seems like a reasonable thing to try to do. And nice, we get rewarded a bit for moving into white with this Cloud Crusader, which I think is pretty good. Also, um, good black cards going around, Assassinate, Blood Throne Vampire, pretty decent. Canyon Minotaur, not bad either. But I'm pretty happy with a Cloud Crusader. And a God's Willing now comes around. Um, I think I'm probably supposed to take that. Shire is not going to do anything for me. Shred Freak is not really my friend. Double Cleave is okay, but I think God's Willing is just going to be correct. It's a nice one mana trick. It seems like we're supposed to play white. We're going to be looking for... I was going to say we're going to be looking for fixing uh, pretty highly, and here we have an Uncharted Haven to let us play this Blast of Genius and potentially Skywatch or whatever. Maybe we just end up splashing the Kami's Flare or something, but especially in a draft with only six people, I think fixing is going to be harder to get. Kitsune Ace is fine. Uh, Shrine Steward, no Auras for that at the moment. So we'll just take the Haven and be pretty happy to have wheeled it. And as expected, we don't get the, um, the Electromancer back. So what are we looking at here? These are our white cards, and then we're in the same spot we were before with red and blue, really dried up. Um, and so maybe with that in mind, I'm supposed to take Dark Revenant and try to play black, because uh, black has seemed more open. I think Dark Revenant is okay. Um, I can still try to splash the Kami's Flare, for instance. Otherwise, it's Batterhorn, which I don't really like. So yeah, I think I will take this. Um, I do think that black and white have been the most open colors after the first couple picks. I think I'm happy enough taking a Deep Tread Marrow, just a Piker here in blue. Uh, search for a Kithkin. I don't. I guess we have Kithkin Healer, but I don't really want to play a 3-mana 1-3 to tutor it up. Maybe if we had some Mirror Entity kind of thing in our deck, then this would be exciting. Um, but yeah, we can still play blue potentially here. Does this do anything? I guess maybe this does something. Yeah, I guess we'll just take this, I don't know, for signaling, if nothing else. Who cares? <laughs> we needed the uh, two-mana version of this, the Magetta's Boon, which actually has Flash and is a reasonable card. But I'll just continue to take white cards for signaling. Part of me wants to take Cavern of Souls, <laughs> so we don't have to worry about who ends up with it. But I'll just take Crushing Canopy, which is the only reasonable card in the pack, really. And Shrine Steward could actually be decent, depending on what we end up with here. Uh, oh. Well, sometimes we open crazy red rares, and we try to play red, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that works for sure. Um, I think I have to take this. I don't think I can not take Godric. Doesn't mean that we necessarily have to play it, so we could end up just not seeing any red cards. Edgewall Pack would be an excellent wheel. Same with Stockpiling Celebrant. Um, Gingerbread Hunter's awesome. There's really nothing in blue, though. Like, Hatching Plans kind of sucks. So, yeah, definitely just taking a Godric here. I really hope we don't end up in Boros again, because it's just adding more fuel to the fire for, like, the Smasher, I guess. I kind of want to take Runner's Bane now. Pretty reasonable blue interactive card. Um, reasonable with Shrine Steward as well. Or wait a second, hold on. There's Beck Call in the pack. I should just take this. Six mana make four 1-1 one -one flyers. I shouldn't take Runner's Bane. I was forgetting that I can actually play this if I play blue-white. I do give myself the problem of having a lot of six drops in my deck. Blast of Genius. Well, I guess I might not play this. Skywatch, whatever. But Runner's Bane is like kind of bad sometimes. I think six mana make four 1-1 one -one flyers is like pretty great. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we can blast them for eight. That's pretty sick. I think I have to take this. Sorry, Runner's Bane slash Shrine Steward. I'm glad I actually took a second to think about that. 
Ooh, Avon Squire. Love this card. Um, otherwise, this card can be okay if the format or if the this draft ends up being super slow. Always a fan of Sentinel Spider, but it's not for us today. Krenko's Command is okay. Battleflight Eagle is not my favorite, so pretty easy Avon Squire, all told. Oh, we'll see what we get here. Looks like, yeah, we should get some on color stuff. Ooh, Stun Sniper. This card's excellent. Yeah, this is going to be a really important one for dictating which colors we end up playing here. All right, very happy to take a Stun Sniper. Skycloth Thrash is okay. Um, like, probably pretty good, even. Uh, and Shield Mage is, I think, an overperformer. Okay, a pack of Weatherlight. Any playables? Well, 5 mana 2 5 Vigilance is playable. 4 mana 2 4 that can block two things. Yeah, maybe just a Pillar Field Ox could be reasonable. Um, I kind of. I always want to check the Oracle text on cards from packs like this. I don't really care about any of these. I don't think I. Do I want or need this Piker? Maybe I do. Yeah, I don't know. My cards are pretty expensive. I don't like taking pikers, but it could be important to have two drops. And I don't know, my expensive cards, like we already have a lot of expensive cards. So I think it's okay to take something like this, even though I don't like it. If we end up trying to play some kind of more aggressive Boros deck, could be important. This pack is terrible. What do you do, Sands of Time? Untap each tapped thing. Okay. No, thank you. I think Remedy is reasonable-ish. Um, and I don't want to do, want to take anything else from this pack, so sure. Blow up a Tar Pit Warrior with this, maybe? I don't know. I think this is a pretty easy stockpiling celebrant. This card's just good. Um, any reason I would take something else here? I mean, Welcome to Sweet Tooth is cool, but we're, we can't take any of the green cards from the pack. Ginger Brood is not super exciting, and the Reindeer is not really going to matter. We didn't get our aura for the Shrine Steward from the Wilds of Eldraine pack when we get this pack. So we want more 6 drops? I don't think so. I think now we're taking our Pillar Field Ox, but it's red. Seems totally fine. And I'll take the Tome. I mean, I don't think that we'll ever get time to use this main deck. Like, this is not a card I want to start in my deck. Otherwise, I'm, like, hate drafting a Sentinel Spider. And it does seem like green has been open this direction. Uh, but I assume that just means that Amaz is in green. And I don't know. I don't want to hate draft a Sentinel Spider, even though I do like the card. I'd rather just take this thing for the board. We do wheel some stuff. We wheel both of these. There's Naya Sojourners, which is just a green card. Somebody took my Skyclaw Thrash, but that's okay. Uh, I'll take an Aether Sworn Shield Mage. If we end up base blue-white, uh, then this card's fine. Otherwise, uh, nothing from here is making my deck, and that's also okay. Ardent Militia, not the worst. This is like a card I was thinking about taking the first time from this pack. And Summer Bloom, a banned card. Do we take it for fun? Let's take this. And then there's a world where this card could be reasonable. Like the young hero roll is kind of sick. This card might actually be good. And we get a Maze Sentinel on the double wheel here, which is another card we could technically play. We're just putting all this fat into the deck for Blast of Genius. That's really the plan. Okay, so we don't really have any more direction in terms of red or blue after that. I mean, we just know that if we're splashing red, we're splashing Stun Sniper. We got Godric, which is the... Yeah, Maze Sentinel is okay. Um, Godric, which is the main reason to try to play red from that pack, whereas Shield Mage uh, is definitely a weaker one. Oh yeah, give that Vigilance, it's sweet. Interesting. Reef Worm versus Chandra's Outrage. Any other goodies in the pack? Prophetic Prism would be great. Ash Barons. We can't take Rancor, but somebody else is going to be very happy with that. 
Um, part of me just wants to take reform because I don't know how good the card is. How does it work? So it's a four mana 0 one. When it dies, you make a three three. When that dies, you make a six six. When that dies, you make a nine nine. I don't know. I, I want to play with these random rares, you know? <laughs> when do you get to draft reform? Um, and it's a card we can still splash. <laughs> hey, Eli, good to see you. Um, yeah, yeah, with a sack outlet, it's much better. I think outrage is probably correct, but I want to take the stupid worm. I don't know. Maybe that's horrible. I've played so many Chandra's Outrages chat. I've never, <laughs> mind bearer. I've never played Reform. I think we have to take the stupid worm, even though I think Outrage is the, the winning pick. Okay. Uh, Sky Captain's decent. Uh, Wooded Foothills is the wrong land. Otherwise, pretty mediocre pack. Uh, Dragon Ball Monk is okay. This card's all right, but it is six mana, and we already have a million six mana cards, so probably just a Sky Captain. Could just take the Dragon Bell Monk as well, but I think Sky Captain's best. A very Jeskai looking pack, and unfortunately no Jeskai fixing for us. Uh, but I think there are no dual lands, or wait, is that true? No, there still are dual lands in Fate Reforged. It's Dragons of Tarkir that doesn't have them. We'll take the Sky Captain, move along. Ooh, a Shoreline Ranger. This card's very good, and it's mana fixing. Okay, that's a very easy pick for me. And maybe we're just blue-white, actually. Take a Spire Monitor now. There's also Sensor Splicer, which I don't love. We could take Forced Worship to go with the uh, Shrine Steward, but I don't think that's something I want to do. I think our deck is going to be a bit better as blue-white splashing red. Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. The main thing we miss is Godric, and Godric is really nice. Just feels like blue is more open. Like I don't know. Sensor Splicer is not that good. I'm just going to take the Spire Monitor. Um, I like Covert Operative, the old hard cast um, Mystic of the Hidden Way. Um, is this card any good? Two mana, O three, 3 but then it grows. This card's probably fine. I don't know if it's good, per se. Shellskin Plower's not the worst, and Glintwing Invoker's interesting, too. I think I would take Operative over Plower, but the question is, do I want this Mangler? I don't know, this card's kind of cool. Combo with the Avon. Oh, the Avon Squire. Yeah, that's true. Our curve's already super high. Whatever, we'll take the rare. We're just taking rares today. That's what kind of day it is. Now we can take this card, which I like. Uh, Wistful Thinking, I do like as well. Uh, sort of a mind rot, though it gets really awkward if they have three cards in hand or four, etc. Because then you're just helping them. Revered Dead is interesting, but I think the Mycoderm is good. Uh, good enough, at least. I wouldn't mind wheeling a Wistful Thinking, I guess. But I think we're just trying to play blue-white. Sorry, Godric. And don't get very much back here. I assume we have no Assembly Workers. Best card in the pack is probably Thresher Lizard for... Actually, for anyone. Yeah, we could take the Retraction Helix. I don't like Arcane Denial at all. Squadron Hawk doesn't make sense. We don't want 5-mana 4-4 four, four Vanilla. Yeah, so, I mean, it's really just Thresher Lizard, and we're kind of off of that already. Or the Helix, so I guess we'll take this. I don't like it, personally, uh, but that doesn't mean that the card is, like, total garbage or whatever. I think Dragon Bell Monk is pretty decent. We have some instants and stuff to get a little bit tricky with it. That's actually, that is the one nice thing about not taking the Chandra's Outrage. Because if we had that in the Godric, we would have to be base red. And there have been a couple more blue cards in this pack. I think we're just taking the Raven Guild Initiate. I could just take like white clean for the board. I don't know, we have some birds and stuff too. We can like save our Abzan Sky Captain. I'm just going to take this. Or even Squire too. 
Oh wow, we get the Sensor Splicer back. It's not an amazing card, but I think it's a good one. I think we'll just take probably a Morph. It's going to be playable for the highest number of people. Um, this is like almost a thing. Somebody beat me with this card in the Unplayables cube in CubeCon, which was awesome. Um, I'm just going to take the... Yeah, Corpse Harvester is pretty cool. Okay, uh, we'll take this for the sideboard, I think. I still don't really want Arcane Denial. This card might be playable for us, but probably not. A Scornful Egotist. Perfect way to end the draft. Let's try to do some deck building quickly. Cut everything. Probably going to experience the bug. We usually do. Yep, here it comes. Ardent Militia. It's going to like disappear from our pool or something. Or something, usually. Yep, Scornful Egotist as well. Just does not want to move. And oh, there goes the Scornful Egotist. It's gone. Thankfully we didn't need... And bla we did need the Blast of Genius, though. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. Even Squire. We have a lot of Pikers, actually. This card, I think, is probably good. This, this, this. Probably the Raven Guild. I like this card. These will go in. I like this one. We're, we have to play the reform, even if it's garbage, which it probably is. Sensor Splicer, why can't you be a bird for the Raven Guild Initiate? Spire Monitor in. Try not to play those. This can be played. This can be played. And this can be played. And then red cards. This one. The Blast of Genius, which we started the draft with and is now missing. Um, I think we're going to play Return Triumphant in this deck. Probably going to play Retraction Helix and God's Willing. That's almost the deck. Could play 18 lands in this one. Um... So, yeah, do we want to play 18 lands? It's an interesting question. This is going to slot in over here. Blast of Genius is there. Um, wait, is it? It is counting that, right? Yeah, okay. So we're at 21 spells, counting the Blast of Genius. Genius, that's not in the thing at the moment. And then I think we have no other non-creature spells we want to play, which is kind of strange. I don't think I want to play Remedy. So we're looking at, like, I, I guess I could play the Tome, but I think that's just a no-no. We're looking at this Piker, which I think is the best of them. I guess technically this, but I think I'd rather just main deck this one and get there some of the time. Mindbearer. Raven Guild Initiate. <laughs> um, leave these pikers there, and then... Um, Ardent Militia is not the worst. I guess I kind of want Mindbearer in this deck. Uh, never played the card before. It works with Return Triumphant. Kind of helps me set up uh, slower games, which is something I'm trying to do. And then it says I'm on 22 cards. Um, which I am at the moment, but it's actually 22 spells. And I think we do want 18 lands. It'll help the mana a little bit, and the curve is on the higher side. So we'll leave the other pikers in the... or all the pikers, I guess, in the board and not play the Raven Guild. This guy needs flying or something. It's in the Raven Guild, but it doesn't have flying. I don't know. Unfortunate. Uh, okay. Card names, and then... How many mountains do we want in this deck? Probably at least two. Um, maybe three mountains, if we can get away with that. It's so nice to be able to like drag piles easily. That has to be one of the worst things about X-Mage for me, not being able to drag stuff into piles. 
which seems like such a small thing. All right, definitely need at least two. I don't think I'm ever playing four, except, I don't know, maybe I am. <laughs> Island, we're not gonna want 10. Looking at like closer to six. Planes. All right. So we're looking at this at the moment, but we have two slots left. We can just go up uh, an island and up a planes. We're actually pretty low on blue cards. It's sort of a question of how often do we want to count Shoreline Ranger as a blue source versus a blue card? I think the answer is, well, it's weird because 18 lands makes me want to count this as a spell, uh, but we have a lot of six drops, which makes me want to plan on cycling this early more often. Not sure there. I don't know, can I really justify three mountains for three red cards? The splash cards are really important though, and the blue cards are all kind of medium, whatever. I'm, I normally wouldn't do this, because normally I think the logic is the cards that you splash, even though they're good, because there are so few of them, you're not supposed to skew your mana toward them. But I think the combination of having the Haven, which can name blue, and the Shoreline Ranger, which can get blue, um, and the red cards being cheap and very good, will kind of shift the equation for me here. Okay, nice hand here. Keep, and then I think we want to name red with this Uncharted Haven, opponent's mulliganing, because uh, we do have the Shoreline Ranger, I'm probably going to cycle that on turn two. I mean, we'll see what we draw. Well, if we draw a mountain, then I will, I get to name Island, <clears throat> which is actually really good, or name Island, I get to name Blue, which is actually very nice, because uh, now I can plan on casting this eventually. There's a chance that I was supposed to wait an extra turn as well before going for this. I wonder if I was supposed to, hmm. I was wondering if I should play Plains or Mountain there, so I could potentially play Stun Sniper specifically if I draw that. But I guess I have blue two drops in my deck too. Yeah, okay. Um, just play this and then pass. And since we already have four lands, um, I don't think I want to land cycle this, even though we did find a six drop. Because, like, we can already play two four drops here. We're going to draw more lands eventually. We're fine to take one damage. I'll probably try to trade Mind Bearer for this Ginger Brute at some point. Notably, this is like a mirror of sorts, and uh, I think the Island Walk card is in our board. Oh, the Aether sh uh, Sworn Shield Mage. That card's perfect here. They're, they should basically never play around this. This card's so good when it works. wonder if they have like a Shale Skin Plower or something. Could be very bad for me if they did. All right, just don't kill this or anything, please. Don't kill it. Does this say combat damage? Just damage, so they didn't respond, so it's gonna live. That's good. Now we will block your guy. Oh, it's a will bender. Okay. Oh, and an edge wall pack. Yeah, they have some good cards. We will play the pallid mycoderm. Start leveling this guy up. Hold up the double block on the edge wall pack.
getting closer to our six drops here. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. To me, it just means like I'd rather have like a cancel. Like I just really don't want to give them multiple cards kind of thing. Ooh, the stun sniper. That is looking super sick. Three X ones in play, and I cast a sun a stun sniper. That said, if they have like a mind control, I do lose. <laughs> that is the one problem. Not not exactly. Like it's not like cancels in the pack, but like if cancel helps inform my threshold of like what's playable, and I can say that cancels playable, and you know denial is worse than that doesn't mean it's unplayable necessarily but maybe it's you know closer to that at least look out x1s <laughs> no don't kill it okay well shrine of burning rage is good We will stun snipe the ginger brute. Yeah, I think it's worse. Giving them two cards is a really big downside. Uh, I can't play a six drop here. I have to start killing their stuff. So I'm just gonna play land sky captain. Um, blue, I, I don't know. It doesn't matter what I do here. Whatever. Not really doing anything, we're just hanging out, right? I think that's right. Wonder if they have my Skycloth Rash. Yeah, but like any kind of card disadvantage I, like that, I think is very bad. Like I think you would need a really good reason to to want to do that. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's that's like part of what I mean about the cancel thing too. Like you know, one blue blue is kind of a lot for a counter spell without any kind of upside. Oh, whoops. Oh, I goofed this up. I didn't... I didn't let them attack. Well, that's pretty sick. Um... So this just pumps Thalids, or Fungus or Sapperling. So I could, I mean, this is still good. I guess I just start attacking with stuff. Play a, I could play a Skywatch first. Oh yeah, let's just play the Skywatch. Giving them three life was very bad though. I needed to like not do that. Here I'm basically saying I know you can kill my stun sniper um, and I don't care about your remaining 1-1s one -ones very much, so I'm just going to start casting 6 mana cards because I have 3 of them in my hand and try to kill you. can even attack with a mind bearer, which is kind of hilarious. I think 
this one doesn't want to attack though. Just take it, that works. I have to make sure I don't play Call into the Judge's Familiar on six mana. That would be terrible. Imagine if um, if I went to stun snipe something and they still had Willbender and I stun sniped my own sniper. Would have been horrible. I mean, I don't know, whatever. Oops. It's been a while since I've clicked like that. You're going to have multiple 3-3s three with which to block here, so... Yeah, I could see that, I guess. <laughs> but I, I also know that, like, a huge thing in the Commander discourse with air quotes around it is like the Ristic study thing, right? Where if you don't pay the one, you're giving people cards. I didn't want to make the one one there, by the way. I did think about it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so here I'm just going to keep attacking uh, in the air. One of the nice things about a spot like this is I can like double block and then if something goes wrong I can use mind bearer. Yeah, the opponent's only hope and I think is just trying to 14 me. Uh, but we should be able to kill them before then. Oh, is this any kind of counter? Riptide Mangler, I don't think we want that. Counters, yeah, so the counters there will work. Uh, I don't think so, this just turns into a 3-3. It's not that good. Three, six, eight damage at the moment. Um, so this is 10 damage there. We can't sneak in an extra damage with this or anything. So basically I would have had lethal if I didn't mistime the stun sniper thing. I mean, maybe that's not true because they would just kill one of my flyers here. They do kind of have to kill one of my flyers. Let's just do this. Whoops, wrong one. That one. <laughs> Boom. Burb is the word, and here come the burbs. Actually, I messed this up, right? I was supposed to kill the judge's familiar first. Like, all I had to do was kill the judge's familiar, because what if they sack this... Well, I guess it's fine, then I just pay the one, it's like the same thing. No, maybe it didn't matter at all. I don't know. Who cares? Okay, they conceded. Well, I certainly wasn't supposed to give them three extra life. Um... 
Blue Elemental Blast. Yeah. Boop. And then... Island Walker. Get in there. Pretty funny to actually have multiple relevant sideboard cards. Um, Reform seems good against them. What do we want to cut? There's got to be some bad stuff in here somewhere. I want to go Sensor Splicer and to pick it up with Stockpiling Celebrant. That'd be cool. Does this do anything? Attraction Helix? kind of don't think so. Maybe Riptide Mangler goes as well. I don't know. This thing can stay. I think this card's good. You just like trade with their Canyon Minotaur or whatever. Trade like brick wall there, will bender kind of thing. Um, nothing really hit the graveyard. I don't know if that matters or not, though. I don't know. Maybe this goes. It didn't really show me any removal. Sure. I have no idea. Okay. This hand's not great, but I will keep it. We still have a number of blue sources. This is definitely a hand where we would island cycle the Shoreline Ranger, if we find that. Named after a town in Washington, by the way, Shoreline. Oh, they have the turn one Brute. The Brutus is going to beat us down. Well, we are going to need some lands, but at least we have a bunch of castable spells if we ever hit one land. Unfortunate thing is Avon Squire can't really block the Judge's Familiar. I don't think we're allowed to do that. This is such a weird spot. Why did we have to draw the Shoreline Ranger this turn? How much of a disaster is it if we don't draw land next turn? I think it's really bad. I think it's really, really bad if we don't draw land next turn, or if we draw like tap land or something. So I guess I'm supposed to island cycle. Island cycle, play Kithkin Healer, try to find a land for Reform, maybe. I don't know. I mean, this doesn't really do anything. It doesn't block their guys. It matters if they play more random dudes on the ground. Okay, here they come. It should be pretty hard to beat me down with two one ones, but it doesn't mean it can't be done. Like, if they just go... Oh, Thermo Alchemist, that's a good one. Kithkin Healer, pretty decent against that too. Now we're probably going to draw land. Yeah. At least now we have blue mana, that's good. We'll just play the healer. Force them to sink mana into the Ginger Brood if they want to get through me there. And then maybe Spire Monitor can eat the Judge's Familiar in a minute. I wish I could mind bearer a uh, creature that dealt damage to me or something. That'd be nice. Okay, so they were missing land, but they found their natural Tron. I could probably try to start attacking with the Dragon Bell Monk. Or I could play mind bearer. Not sure what to do next turn. If I can find land five, it's a very clear spire monitor, try to eat the judge's familiar kind of thing, but. I'm taking a few damage a turn here now. I guess I'm supposed to Mind Bearer. Yeah, probably supposed to Mind Bearer. Tar Fire? That's very good. I think I'm going to lose now. I'm not just straight up dead or anything, but certainly not good for me.
don't think I really have an answer to Thermo Alchemist in this deck. And I guess now I can play Cloud Crusader. Start some offense. Try to draw land for Spire Monitor. Still can eat the Judge's Familiar. <laughs> they have at least three spells in hand. But we're at 12. Like, this is very much an uphill battle for us. probably have taken this thing out I don't know but like if they do just play their hill giants I think it's good it's kind of weird how slowly they're playing but I don't know nothing wrong with that Maybe they're not used to playing on magic online just pass here okay well ooh, return triumphant that's perfect uh, so we're gonna cast that first see if they want to counter it And then we're going to play Avon Squire. Now I can choose whether I want to attack for three. I think I do. I want to apply pressure. They still have to pay mana to get in with Ginger Root. And like they're mana screwed. So I think this is good. Certainly a little greedy, but considering I'm not planning on trading the Avon Squire with the Judge's Familiar, but I think still good. Because, like, then starting next turn, I can just hold up the Kithkin Healer. Okay, I'm a believer in this card now. <laughs> At least in this deck in particular. Okay, they're gonna fire this up again, that's fine. I think I'm supposed to take the damage. I mean, I could block and trade. Eh, maybe blocking and trading is fine. It's probably fine, honestly. Nice, find some lands. Now, pretty straightforward. Cloud Crusader attack. Could have attacked with the Kithkin healer. Maybe that was best. I don't know. I think preventing damage wherever I can has to be good. It's tough though. Because, like, last turn I got an, an attack for three, and I took no damage for that attack. The only thing that happened was losing the Avon Squire. I think it's fine to prevent damage, though. Okay, yeah, this happens. If they have, like, a destroy target tapped creature thing, it's slightly obnoxious for me. That's perfect for a reform. That said, I could also just double spell and play two guys. Um, I think we can just play a reform. I kind of wish I had attacked with the Kithkin healer now, though, because then, like, I could still gain a life this turn and I would have had a 3 3. There's a chance I was supposed to get more aggressive than I did.
like I'd be at seven. And now I would have gone to six. I guess I don't have a three turn clock since uh, they can gain three life. If they like bounce this, I'm in kind of big trouble. I wonder if they have Chandra's Outrage here. Mark of Mutiny. I don't love that for me. Does that just kill me? So at the moment I take four, like I basically die from this. I need to top deck something. I'm not even sure what I'm looking for. I guess I could find the destroy target red thing. Uh, I think this is worse. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm done on board now. I can, yeah, it looks like I have nothing here. Um, just like double check. Yeah, maybe if I'd played Mindbearer last turn. I don't know, just say GG and scoop. Okay. Well. Interestingly, could I have lived if I attacked for three? I might have been able to live. Let me see. They were at 10 life there. We had 6 power in the air. And we went to 2. So, yeah. I think I the attack for 3 might have actually worked. So, maybe that's just what I needed to do. I don't know. Anyway. I mean, that probably forces them to make a different play. But maybe that's good enough. I think God's Willing probably needs to come back in. After that, um, I don't know, Dragon Bell Monk is kind of a guy, doesn't do a lot, doesn't really attack or block super profitably or interestingly, so sure, I guess. I think I have to play first after that. This hand's not very good. Am I supposed to keep this? I think against this opponent, the answer might be no. Okay, this hand looks way better. I think I get rid of God's Willing here. see if we can win this one. I think my deck has stronger cards than theirs, but obviously, like, stuff can happen like last game, where we just die anyway. No gingerbread this time? Okay. There's the reform. Just play the healer next turn, and then see what happens. opponent I guess so I guess uh, this is non land I'll just play the healer I 
wonder what hand they would keep with one land. I mean, they did mold a six. Just give me lands. That's not a land. Well, I guess I'm, I was probably just supposed to play the Stockpiling Celebrant last turn. I'll play it this turn, I think. Also awkward to discard a one drop after keeping a one lander. It's not a, you know, I don't know. Okay. Um, we're gonna keep this. Amaz has said okay. One, two, three, four, five times in a row. <laughs> Did I want to play first? I don't know, I didn't think about it. Alright. Ripped the island off the top for the Riptide Mangler. Ripped for the Ripped. Mangler return combo. Oh, nice, yeah. Or wait. Toughness three or less. Uh, how do we change its toughness, though? Okay, well, that could have been a lot worse. Now I won't play a mind bearer and lose my guy. Um, actually, I, I'm in pretty good shape now, right? Because I just do this. I let them target the life on the thing, and then I <laughs> just make a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> oh, is that how that works? Oh, that's awesome. I did not realize that's how that worked. Okay, I'll just click through this one time, and then... I don't know. I mean... Here comes the ridged Kusite. Yeah, because it doesn't say target creature's base power, right? I could block here and go for God's Willing. Oh, but maybe I just want to go for the combo like you're saying. I don't know, it sounds kind of cool. What happens if I just God's Willing though here? I'm just going to do it. <laughs> That's what happens. I see. These are like the first the cards that I said they would take too. That was kind of brainless of me. Oh well. This is still good, I think. Yeah, maybe this is really good. I don't know. Like, they can't have too many cards like that. I didn't pass that many sick removals to them. It's kind of interesting. I'm 
we just do this. Yeah, I definitely would have missed this line if you didn't point it out to me, Aramath. Like, extremely likely. Did it work? I honestly don't even know if it worked. I'll just play the Mind Bearer and pass. Okay, that's fine. I guess I could have played this first, technically. Yeah, it did work. Okay, that's good. It was a 3-4. Nice. Yay, it's a 4-4. Four, four. I'm some I feel like I'm just gonna lose somehow. Like I've just I don't know. Maybe the God's Willing was too loose. Maybe it's fine. Make me discard. Okay, well this guy sucks, so sure. This is a little bit awkward, not gonna lie. Actually, hold on a sec. Can I ever name green? Can I ever name green? That's gotta be too fancy, right? Yeah, that's gonna be too fancy. Okay. Yeah, I really goofed that up, I guess. I don't know, I mean, I kind of spewed my God's Willing, like I got two for one. I just should have... Oh, that's true, I can pump the Mangler more. I was thinking about doing that... Uh-oh, this guy's dead. There's no way this doesn't kill this. Oh, actually, that's... That's annoying, but it's not horrible for me. I missed an attack, okay. Oh, wow, and the Stun Sniper. And we have the Double Pump. I think, one, two, yeah, we do. Well, we can still Double Pump. Annoying that they chumped there, but... That's okay. Actually, maybe this was fine, because, like, if I think about it, them using the... Well, I guess we would still have a return. No, we wouldn't have a return triumphant. Maybe this worked out better for me somehow, getting two for one with the last gasp. Yeah, this Riptide Mangler is, like, freaking truck. Never seen anything like it. Yeah, we're gonna. The mind bearer is gonna step on its own mine. That's the. That's flavor wise what's going on here. Or actually, wait, no, there's even a better flavor story. It, it's bearing the mines, it's carrying the mines. We're just gonna boom, shoot one of the mines, blow it up. <laughs> it's like in one of those, like, uh, video games where they're like, shoot the barrels! Shoot the very conveniently placed barrels. Uh, it does key off toughness, but we're already on four toughness. This is so good. <laughs> this is so unreasonable. This has to go on Twitter. This has to go on Twitter. <laughs> Yeah, this is really strange, but I'm pretty sure that it worked out better for us that we uh, got two for one with the God's Willing. Kind of like when I two for one myself, double blocking, well, sort of, uh, what would you call that? 
one and two thirds per one to myself by double blocking a um, Giraper guy and the two two first striker on the opponent's water courser with an equipment on it. Okay, so they finally hit their red mana, whatever that's for. Yeah, we had Aramath's, uh, I don't know, <laughs> deep understanding of Riptide Mangler's text to show me a line that is pretty much single-handedly the reason this game is going well for me. <laughs> That's fine. Now we have a modified guy too. And this is 10 damage in multiple ways. Yeah. No! I somehow thought something like this might happen, but I also don't care. Wait, but it still has a counter <laughs> Oh shoot, I need to go, uh, whatever. I need to go back in the game log. The one thing I wanted to make sure I did for Twitter is just zoom in on it. So, um, yeah. Any creature in a graveyard. Okay, what are the creatures in graveyards here? Oh, whoa, they put a Minotaur Aggressor in the graveyard? I mean, good thing we have a... I don't know, I guess this is fine, whatever. So I guess they pitched that off the... yeah. Now they still... <sighs> Part of me wants to... Let's, let's see if they attack or not here. Because otherwise I'm going to get a very powerful guy. Uh, they do go for the attack. All right, fine, whatever. Fine. Just try to kill you. So boring. Okay. Play this. And now we wait until... Does it matter if I wait until the Exalted happens? I guess it's technically better to wait. Or wait, what am I talking about? Uh, I don't know. This Riptide Mangler is juiced to the moon. This is awesome. Oh my god. I wanted... This card needs to be in some cubes. <laughs> Do I have any other ways of putting a counter on it? I feel like I don't. What about... Um, I mean, I guess I could play Holy Strength, but that card's terrible. Wait, is that... Maybe you were saying that before. Yeah, I think you probably were saying that before, Aramath. Let's get the Deep Tread Marrow in there again. Oh yeah, Exalted does work too. That's true. Yeah. It's so ridiculous to double activate it. Just give your guy plus two power. Oh yeah, yeah, you were talking about Dragon Skills. That's right. I mean, that's this is basically Dragon Skills. I don't think we want to main deck those still, but I love the idea of the Minotaur Aggressor coming in versus the Reef Worm. We have like three chomps and then we make a 9-9. Nine -nine. <laughs> um, we'll just try this, I guess. What did I cut? 
cut retraction helix it's fine they did have some red cards so i could play this but it seems like it's a splash so there probably aren't very many i think i'd rather wait yeah the nice thing about those two is like giving plus two toughness is nice because then it's like an x5 that turns into like a 10-5 or whatever that was so fun and zany though i'm really glad you pointed that out to me i would have missed it for sure all right let's see if i think that'll be a maz seeing that i asked if he was on <laughs> Uh, yeah, I did say the mono okays thing to him, and he saw it. Okay, so this hand is almost good. We're still going to keep it. Um, I have to watch out for the life of Toshiro Umazawa. That's like the biggest thing, because we do have some X1s, Cycle Monsters Carabid. How many red cards are in the deck? Maybe more than I thought. I don't know. They don't have any... I think I just want to play Riptide Mangler here. I don't want to give them some X1s to, to kill for free when this thing doesn't even... Like, they don't even have an island for this. We might be able to do this right away. I don't know. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, sure. Natural Tron, easy. Everyone's playing blue and red today. Sure. My guy can block as a 2 1 first strike. This might be a spot where I eventually end up wanting to cycle. No blue mana from them, by the way. I would assume they didn't change their deck, but I don't really know what happened. I'm just going to play the shield mage here. Okay, there's the blue mana. Street Wraith. Okay, that's pretty good. It is a punish for how I chose to do things here. I mean, it's not a huge problem, but... Okay, and then I guess I just play a Reef Worm. If I had Deep Tread Marrow going, obviously it'd be much better. I guess this thing's always going to be weak to the life of Toshiro. I think you learned that in Commander, so Commander is good for something after all. Perfect. We're in pretty good shape at the moment. Um unbereafable <laughs> oh my god mercurio why that was really funny though um okay another reasonable draw we'll just choose to be mana efficient here rakshasa's disdain here it comes rakshasa's di no they didn't make me do that I like their deck. I don't know. They have some cool cards. The Ridged Kusite is not my favorite, though. Blast of Genius. They have one, too? Everybody has a stinking Blast of Genius. Oh, I probably got it in the Master's pack, and they probably got it in the actual Dragon's Maze pack. Oh, no. They had to discard Life of Toshiro Umzawa, which doesn't kill it and doesn't kill my Deep Tread Marrow. So whatever their other cards are, they must be pretty good. So they drew at least three spells, right? Yeah, anyway. Okay, this is working out fine, though. We get to attack here, and then now we play the Deep Tread Marrow and the Kithkin Healer. As long as they don't have a Sweeper. If they have a Sweeper, I lose, but I'm not going to play around that. Maybe I don't lose because I have Reef Worm. I don't know. Gotta show me, lever. Well, there's our own Blast of Genius. Oh, hey, Evan, good to see you. Um, 
yeah, thanks. I am doing pretty well at the moment. Hope you are too. Um, I'm not sure what you're up to these days, but always nice to to see you around. We're doing um, a chaos draft today, as well as we frequently do. And I thought you might be interested to know that a uh, fine Spoo and Amaz are in the other 1-0 match, so potentially a nice finals for me if I can make it there, regardless of who I end up playing. <laughs> yeah, uh, that might have been me, Mercurio, who mentioned the ridged Kusite thing, because that is a thing that I <laughs> have floating around my brain too. Oh, pickleball, that's cool. Yeah, I, um, I've only played pickleball a handful of times. I used to play uh, tennis. Um, it was never like amazing, but I think I was decent. Oh my God, we can do it again. The return triumphant on the Riptide Mangler. I think at this point I'm supposed to stop developing threats though, because it... Oh yeah. Uh, Gotcha. Sure. Yeah, then that wouldn't have been me. Okay, we'll make this attack. Make it unblockable. Um, and I know that um, some people think pickleball is kind of easy, but I, I don't. It's also interesting because, like, Guided Strike, one of the really nice things about that card is it's basically card advantage, kind of like your classic wild size-esque trick. Um, I'm just going to go for this. Um, <clears throat> but this one is kind of card disadvantage because you have to start by playing a 1-1 one -one <laughs> to get the spell shaper. Yeah, I think it's time, Aramath. They're going to counter it. Okay, they got me with the mana leak. That's fine. Yeah, as a madness enabler, it's cool. That's a good point. All right. And a covert operative. You got it. I think I want to blast of genius them for six damage here when I eventually find a land. Um, that's going to be my plan anyway. We'll see if they have a counter spell. Okay, well, we do find the land. Um, hmm. I think I want to go Asperia's Skywatch on the Street Wraith and then just send in these 2-2s two to try to set up for lethal next turn. Um, and then they can basically get rid of a card in their hand. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. And the other thing, too, actually, we might... Hmm. Well, we're definitely going to start with that Skywatch. And then now there's a question of which guys are going to attack. We could just send in everything but the Reform of our perfect Double Tron here, by the way. Okay, they're countering this. Sure. Never mind, we're not sending anybody. Um, unless they probably still know. Probably still no. Yeah, I don't think so. So we're just going to gain a life from the Covert Operative coming in if they want to send that. And then, I don't know. I mean, that's a counter spell that didn't hit our Blast of Genius, which is probably going to kill them. Just seems very hard for them to get out of this, I think. Thoughtseize. Don't take the Blast of Genius. Don't do it. Ah, oh, they did. Minotaur Aggressor? Yep, there it is. <laughs> Here's the matchup that was always meant to be. Minotaur Aggressor versus Reform. They can send the Covert Op and hit me for two. Or not. Okay, now I want to draw a land. Huh. 
Tommy's Flare. I think I'm just supposed to jam the Shoreline Ranger here. Actually, wait, let's do the math. Yeah, no, this is right, I think. We have nothing that's modified at the moment, but that's okay. I think Amaz is going to have some terrifying... Yes, <laughs> 6 2 first strike, but it just gets bricked by the reform. Gotta love that. Yeah, the Island Walker has been a really good card from the board, and they do this. And the Stun Sniper, which also kills them. I mean, at this point, do I start playing around a Wrath again? I think I probably do. All right, well, that'll be game. Nice, and then we're gonna play Amaz, who won his match in two. I thought I would get him to add me as a buddy, but instead he just made it so it wasn't buddies only. I'll play first. I think I'm gonna get rolled here, folks, by the way. Well, I'm definitely gonna get rolled if I keep that hand. I mean, he's mulliganing. I'm going to five. Okay, this is almost good. Can I just pretend this is Stun Sniper? And uh, he keeps a six. I'll keep my five. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I think we need Mind Bearer, Celebrant, Sky Captain. Probably just throw this back. I mean, I could throw back a land. Just throw back land. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew he was playing green. Lands. Okay, that's good at least. Still need to draw something here though. He's getting aggressive. Uh-oh, Porcelain Legionnaire. Card's so good. We draw this. It's so brutal. So we get to name blue. Uh, at the moment, we're looking pretty punished for this. I think I have to attack. I don't know. I could trade this here, but this card's not worth it, I think. I'm just dead. He's just got me. He's got all these sick green cards. Is he mono green? Wait a second. What is this? Oh, it's that card. This is mono green beat down. Definitely don't feel alive. Yeah, this is just not it. Oh, yeah, yeah. The only nice thing about this is we get to blow up whatever counters go on, but we're just getting rocked here. There's a chance I'm supposed to bounce my Aven Squire. It's a crawl guy as well. And another, oh, it's just holding up the share. I guess that was free. Uh, I think I now have to, I mean, I'm just losing by so much here. I don't think the 1-1 one, one Aven Squire does anything. I think we just do this. Yes, exactly wacky. Good to see you, by the way. Yeah, I think we're just kaput. I mean, maybe next game we'll have a better shot, but probably not. Well, one of these is good.
And it's like one plus as well, which is so broken. Yeah, turn that into a guy. Now the only thing we have going for us, wait a second. Okay, untap, sure. For a second I was like, is this the one where they get to pick up the elves? But I guess it's not that. That's um, the insect, wirewood symbiote, I think. I always get those confused. Okay. Seems pretty clear cut to me. What am I missing? Like I just put the 3-2 on the 3-3. Three, three. I could do this and blow that up, but I need to be able to blow these up, I think. We know what we're drawing. Does this and plays Prophetic Prism. It's so cool. Must be nice to do cool stuff. Yeah, this bounces elves. Okay, there's Kami's Flare. Where would Symbiote Trauma? Yeah, so we just have to Kami's Flare here. Just wanted to attack with multiple things. Might have to use the Mind Bearer on the Aquarian Ranger. White mana. I don't know. I, got, I mean, I'm pretty dead here no matter what he does, right? What is he doing, though? Why is he doing this? <laughs> He's just saying that I won't get a better... I won't be allowed to trade for one of these. I think I might trade for one of those anyway. Maybe I just Kami's Flare this guy. I think I need to do that. And hope to play the Sky Captain. At the end of the day, he does have a bunch of dorky 1-1s, one -ones, which maybe helps me if I draw a land. Well? Well, 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 chat. That had to be one of my better draws. Absolutely had to be one of my better draws. We're putting up a fight here, guys. We're, we're really trying. Unfortunately, I think his deck is too good for me to... Yeah... We're really trying. This mind bearer. It's not really bearing minds, it's bearing me. It's just putting me on its back, carrying me into dying a couple turns later than I should have. <laughs> yeah. This one's easy at least. We block here. And we blow this up. But now, I mean, he's just going to have any spell and I'm still going to die. Sentinel. Oh, that card. That card's good. Well, we will chump that, I guess. Finally drawing lands. I can't play Sky Captain here. Yeah, how any spell indeed. Like, almost somewhat alive, kinda. If we draw... Yeah, still just almost somewhat alive, kind of, I guess. I'll just like do this, at least it's tapped, and then... If this were not six mana... <laughs> 
Well, we're getting some more info from him, I guess. His deck's very good. Would expect nothing less. Uh... Okay. No. Like, am I allowed to blue em blue elemental blast his Atarka? Presumably he doesn't have many Atarkas in there, slash other cards that would be that could <laughs> retraction helix does blow up the briar shield though so like that card should probably stay in don't need an island walker this time this card would have been really good actually three mana one four blocker blocks the whatever you call it take out a dragon bell monk blocks the legionnaire Can I ever play this? This is an excellent reform matchup. I think I can maybe squeeze this in. Problem is like, it's just not gonna kill very many things, but how else, like, what do I possibly have in here that beats a Tarka World Render? I guess, Stun Sniper? I don't know, folks. Uh, I think I'm just gonna try again without this. Gotta show me more red cards first. Alright, definitely playing first in this one. And a pretty decent hand. This hand looks like it wants to island cycle. Okay, that's really nice. Probably just have to play it. Okay, there they go with that again. I definitely just have to play this. And then if I trying to figure out hmm. return triumphant, that's kind of interesting. Maybe I just attack with both. Island cycle. Pass. Not in that order exactly. I mean they can kill something here. Actually, wait a minute. One plus the number of foods you control, right? So we want to try to trade here. I think we try to trade. Why can't you be an instant? Why can't you be even more cracked than you already are? uncool okay yeah I mean, we're doing our best here. Like we're drawing pretty hot and I'm still feeling like I'm toast. <laughs> I 
We have the combo too, though. Make no mistake. Well, maybe we just put a shit ton of 1-1s one into play. <laughs> Hey, Exosnox, good to see you. I feel like this thing's dying for some reason here. I mean, what is his hand? I don't really know. Yeah. Now he plays Sentinel Spider, and I cry. Yeah, that's also very bad for me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, reform. Actually, wait a minute. What if I, I never have any equity here if I attack all, right? Yeah, that's the problem. Like if I attack all, it blocks here, takes four, I reanimate this, it just doesn't even help. So I think I'm gonna go for the value line instead. No, 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 no. And now this thing, or they get to make something enormous. At least this gets to attack. Maybe I'll just play the reform. I don't know. I needed that sideboard card against the Atarka. If I had, that's honestly the difference. If I had that card, I could maybe beat Atarka, and now I can't. Why can't you have flying? <laughs> I guess I would still die, huh? Ay, ay, ay. Well, this guy can attack at least. Actually, wait, I screwed up. Uh, I messed that up really badly. I needed to play Sensor Splicer, because then the three three can attack too. It doesn't matter, because I still die, but... Yeah. And then this, just for fun. Just deal me a little, a mere 14 damage. I just mentioned this card too. Okay, that's fine. If it didn't have trample, maybe we'd be alive. We got the food tokens and another reach guy. It's so rude. Yeah, there's just no way in heck. Well, wait a second, actually. Holy crap. Holy crap, chat. We might not be dead. I just actually wait. No, he's got two reach creatures, right? So do this, take three. If he had one reach creature, no, but I don't have, okay. Rewarded once again for being a clown. Um, sensor splicer, does that matter? Which one do we want to get rid of? 
I think we need to keep the mycoderm, I guess. What's in my deck? I can't believe I actually didn't just die there. Um, yeah, let's keep the mycoderm. His deck is still terrifying, though. That's the problem. All of his cards are good. Okay, that's maybe okay, though. Sort of. Oh my god, the Mind Bearer to the rescue. All right, we're just hanging out. Okay, sacking of food is very good because it suggests that he can't... Well, maybe that's not true. He plays a 7-7. Well, the Reef Worm is doing some excellent work. I guess the Mind Bearer is going to help too. That's pretty good, but I don't think it matters necessarily. Am I supposed to hold it? What if there's a turn where, wait a minute, if I make a 9-9 nine nine somehow and then give it pro green and then knock this guy out of the sky, yeah, they do have their own reform. I kind of want to hold the Skywatch, though, because, like, developing it doesn't do anything, right? Or wait. Maybe that's not true. Mm, no, it actually does matter because of Exalted. It attacks as a 4-4. Four, four, and I can God's Willing it to save it. I have to kill the Blossom Prancer. Yeah, okay. They have a dragon, they have a pro dragons card in their deck. Yeah. The fact that we're alive at all is such a miracle. Like, there's a real chance he dies to this thing. Okay, that's fine. for this, which is pretty annoying. Um, actually, wait, does this prevent my play from working? It kind of seems like it prevents my play from working. Um, which one am I supposed to kill? I think I'm supposed to kill the Dragon Stalker. Do I have other three power flyers? I mean, it forces him to double block the other way next turn. It doesn't really matter. Wait, do I have other two power flyers? What's in my deck? Sky Captain. I guess I'm supposed to kill the giant spider because I can draw Sky Captain. I don't know. 
green retraction helix. That works. That works. We're going to potentially win this game. Oh no, that's bad for me. I mean, you still got to answer. Oh, this gives trample? Wait a minute. Oh, but he doesn't attack. I mean, if he doesn't attack, then that works. Okay. Attack. Just takes it? Okay. He's just gonna try to kill me, I guess. I guess I play this on blue. I don't know what he's up to here. Yeah, I mean, the good news is we have the Mind Bearer at some point. Okay. Yeah, this equip makes a lot of sense for men. This is a good play. I'm just trying nothing here. Send this in. So annoying. Yeah, and then once he makes the 5-5, five, five, now I can't really bounce this thing. Prophetic Prism. Hmm. Okay. So he's got two cards that can block flyers, so it's not like I can kill him or whatever. Um, I don't have any untap thing with the helix or anything either. Okay, there's that sky captain I was talking about. Can we kill him, maybe? He doesn't have any foods left. If we draw, like, a Spire Monitor, can we kill him in two attacks? I don't know. I don't know what that morph can be, either. I don't know if I'm allowed to worry about that. I think I'm not. just have to keep going. I mean, at the moment, maybe he's decking? Is that ever possible? He's decking first slightly here. I've drawn a lot of lands. Is he going to send a 7-7 seven, seven Blossom Prancer? No. Yeah, now, yeah, see, he's feeling the pressure of decking. He's going to keep growing this. Okay. I have to watch my clock. I'm going to time out. Okay. Oh, we now have the retraction helix for the token if he tries to grow that eventually. 
or just to change the map and stay alive in general. Where's my stun sniper in, in these trying times? This mind bearer. <laughs> uh, this is quite the game. The first like five ish times I played Amaz, I won like four of those times. And now it's like I just can't win. I mean, sometimes I, I beat him still, but it's not often. Okay, so I think I have to bounce this. I think I have to bounce it, but then the I kind of lose is the issue. I can bounce this, but then you can actually, maybe you can't replay it. That's so bad for me though. If I could like kill my sky captain, then I could bolster. Um. I guess it dies. I need him to mess up here. Yeah, I think I have to bounce this. Yeah, killing the mind bearer is a huge problem. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We bounced the ring. Chat, we found the line. We bounced the ring. I don't know if this matters at all. Wait, is this even good? I don't know. Maybe I just bounce this guy. Yeah, making the 3-3 three, three doesn't matter. I'll just set this thing back. Yeah, it wasn't even better. Good. No, he plays a land, he just replays it. At least he can't equip. I think he, oh, wow. This is really big. Can I send, I might be able to send all my flyers. He has a 7-7 seven, seven reach and a dragon stalker. He eats, no, I can't do it yet, right? This isn't lethal. That would be dealt to artifact creatures. That's not how the card works. Yeah, it doesn't work, okay. I'm just gonna lose. Oh, we could actually beat a 7 7 coming in right there. Okay. My client is going pretty slowly, like, even if I were going faster. I think I would still be in time trouble here. 8-8. Eight, eight. So I can make my... How big can I make my pallid mycoderm? I can make it have 5 power. What is this? Like, it's so many messed up cards in his deck. He's definitely got this. That stupid ring is just unbeatable for me. The 
This attack is not very good, though. In fact, it might even be pretty bad. I almost clicked the wrong ability there, by the way. That would have been annoying. Um, let's play this and try to figure out some blocks. So this has to go here. And if I put the other two here, put the reef worm on a four, four, I guess, put this here. something like that and then I sack the guy and then this is three four five six seven so that doesn't work that doesn't work right I need to put a little bit more power on there three four five six seven something like this and then now this is just a chomp so Put this here, I guess. Maybe that's worse, actually. Let's put this here. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna lose this. Something like that. Okay. Why not? Um, and then that doesn't change anything for me, I don't think. I just kind of lose my stuff. Oh, I shouldn't have put it on the even square. I should have put it on a random bird. Doesn't matter though. I mean, he's even got the food mana up. Yuck. I mean, I expected to be crushed by Amaz playing green, and we got nothing less than what we asked for. We got the full Amaz experience. It's always a good time. I played this pretty poorly, but I don't know. This deck was just insane. Let's see how much damage we take. Three? Three life? That doesn't seem right. There we go. Negative 20. <laughs> A good deck and a good fight. Yep, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, that'll be that. And I'll see you guys next time.